Why do you do it? I do, <laughs> that's a, why do I do it? I don't know anything else anymore. Um, it's something I would do regardless of our being paid, if anyone was watching, if there was any remuneration or rewards. I think I'm just a creative person. Something has to be created in some way. And music is my main vice. So it's just like, there's an itch that has to be scratched. I think searching is the word, man. With my music, I'm constantly searching for something. Um, this is something I do. You know, it's kind of hard to put it into words to, to explain the importance of music and creating in my life. It's something I've done before these cameras existed, before people knew I was putting music out. It's something I do just for fun. You know, it's something I do just for my own therapy. So the searching thing is the common theme. Sometimes you find it, sometimes you don't, and that's, that's life. The music I've created has opened up doors for me to experience things beyond what I would have experienced had I not made the music. And because of those experiences, it has changed my personality. I think of some of the countries and the people I've met that there's no other way other than music I would have been there. And that changes something about you when you go and see and meet these people and do these things and experience different things where, you know, one day I'm in, on the Nile in Sudan and then I'm back in Catford and it's like, oh, wow, perspective, you know? And then when you go to make music, it's like, things do change. And I think, I don't think it's directly the vibrations and the pitches and the notes that have done it, but they have created the opportunities for me to change. And some of us are just blessed in different ways. Some people have the gift of the gab, some don't. And I think for me, I've got a much deeper vocabulary emotionally with music than maybe with words or maybe with gestures or so on and so forth. And I think, there is, uh, and maybe it's even beyond that, I feel there's, there's something even more universal with music that I can go to Egypt or I can go to Vietnam that we all understand. And that's something beyond me, you know, that's something beyond anything I think I can claim responsibility for. Why is it that this rhythm is universal? <laughs> Why is it the pentatonic scale is everywhere? Why are all of our children's nursery rhymes built around pent Like, there's something deeper that is in the vibrations, that is in the rhythm, that is uh, important to us as human, human beings. Bob Marley gets played everywhere. There's a reason, <laughs> there's a reason. I don't switch off, so I don't know how to answer your question. <laughs> It never switches off and um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, it is quite funny though, being in quote unquote normal situations. Like for example, I'm often out at dinner with my wife and I'll hear something on the PA and be like, oh. Like quite often I'll hear me or drums, like oh, I'm on this track or this is in this key and how they've modulated. Like, like it's my ears are always ready to hear and receive music and you know a lot of choice goes into records and whether the public or the, the consumers know that or not is it is what it is but a lot of mi micro choices and decisions have been made to, to create the sound from like I said from the cymbal to the snare to what microphones to where you put them to what room you record them in so I think having the worst thing is making all those choices and it's not you're hearing it out of a phone speaker and you can't hear anything. When you put them on and it's almost like they disappear, it feels like you are in the space um, where the music was recorded, how they chose to record it is, is really important.